I can't really be a lawyer and a criminal, can I? I want to win, but do I want to win like this? I'm of two minds here. So it's a coin flip. Johnny Vitti was murdered tonight. The Falcone crime family has to be taken down. There's only room for one homicidal maniac in this town. Why are you running? You could use a little fun. I thought you didn't hurt people! You thought wrong. You still haven't figured out who killed Johnny Vitti? A killer who only works on holidays. There's lots of crazy out there. Once I take him out, things are gonna be different. We can start a family. But he has fallen, Alfred. And we must endeavor to lift it up again. Who is Holiday? And who's next? A. V. N. It's headphones nailed! Neil here back with an impromptu film review and in this case is going to be the 2021 animated film Batman the Long Halloween Part 1. So this recently came across or came to my attention as a new film um, in the Batman animated um, as far as the DC Cinematic Universe goes and being a big Batman fan I decided to give it a watch to see how it held, holds up and if, if it was any good. Um, from watching the trailer, the animation seemed very good, so I knew that was a definite plus going into it. And I want to say that the film is actually pretty good as far as being the first half of the movie. And I can't wait to see what the, se what the second half brings as far as the resolution to the holiday killer in the film. So um, there's not really much to say yet because it depends on how they finish up the film or the finish up the movie in, in part two. But overall, when you go into the film, it's kind of reminiscent of the Christopher Nolan Batman or the Dark Knight trilogy mixed with the animation and general look and feel of the Batman games for a mobile um, by Telltale Games. So um batman the enemy within and i think the other one's called batman by telltale games but if you think of that general aesthetic mixed with um a general look and feel of the christopher nolan trilogy um you get an idea of what batman the long halloween feels like and it's a lot of it brings a lot of depth to the various characters and a lot of the blurring of lines between good and bad so you you have the obvious um set up with you know um commissioner gordon being on the good side with harvey dent also being good and that his slow transition into becoming harvey dent you have um carmine falcone as the mob boss um you have the joker catwoman and all of them so and then you have, of course have a young barbara gordon who i believe becomes batwoman so things like that's so all sorts of various character interactions are brought up um we don't see the Riddler or Penguin or any of those characters, so I don't know if those are going to be brought in in the second film. Um, we do have a teaser at the end of this film as far as Poison Ivy goes. Um, so we'll see kind of how all of that comes together, but overall I'm very impressed with this story. And want to say that if you're a fan of um, DC characters or their animated films or even their films in general, or just like Batman, then definitely give The Long Halloween a watch. Um, from what I read, it's based on the comics of the same name, so not having read any of the comics, I don't know how true to form it is, but the general consensus that I saw is that it does stay true to um, the comics as far as the overall story arcs and characters and aesthetic so definite watch for me so it's currently getting a pretty good rating it's at a 75 percent on imdb um and 100 percent on rotten tomatoes as far as the critic score with a 91 percent from the audience so i want to say that for me it is right up there it's in the grade of uh a as far as animations character development and all of that so um, like I said, if you're a Batman fan or DC fan or even just a comic book fan in general, then this is definitely a film to watch. Um, and then from what I hear, part two is supposed to come out later in 2021 towards the end of the year, possibly in 2022, but I think that might have just been the DVD or the Blu-ray release. So, um, there's that, but 
As far as this review goes, that's really all I have to say for that. Um, overall, it's a good first part to the two-part film. So um, when the second part comes out, I'm going to give it that a watch and see how they round out the story and how they deal with Batman's further um, pull and split between um, doing the good, doing good for Gotham, working for the mob, be having to progressively become a smarter and smarter detective and take his game up to figure out who this holiday killer is. Um, the only thing that I want to really say outside of that is was the introduction to Calendar Man, who I could have sworn from the trailer was Lex Luthor. So I'm not sure if um, his character design in the film is supposed to be along the lines of a Lex Luthor, but that's really the only side thing that I could really notice. So... Um, that's neither here nor there, so overall the film is good and worth the watch. So that's all there is for this particular review, so if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is HeadphonesNail.Reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting good links to show porn in the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning to the, into this particular episode, and until next time.